بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک آفٹر ایٹ بریک ہو فلی یو آر آل ڈوئنگ گڈ اینڈ یو آر فریش فار اے نیو اسٹارٹ بچو اسٹل وی آر کنٹینیوئنگ ود دا یونٹ نمبر ٹو ایز وی ور ان دا پریویس ویڈیو ٹوڈے ان دس ٹاپک آف یونٹ نمبر ٹو آئی ول ڈسکس ود یو دا سیکنڈ اکویشن آف موشن ہاؤ ٹو ڈیرائیو ایٹ اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو ڈرا دا گراف آف ایٹ بچو دس از اے گرافیکل میتھڈ آف ڈیریویشن ان سو ان دس پرٹیکولر ڈیریویشن ویل یوز دس گراف دیٹ از فگر ٹو پوائنٹ ٹو سکس دا فرسٹ اسٹیپ از ہاؤ یو ول میک دس گراف بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈیرائیو دا سیکنڈ اکویشن آف موشن ود دا ہیلپ آف گراف ایز آئی ٹولڈ یو آر ایئر دا فرسٹ اسٹیپ ٹو اسٹارٹ دا ڈیریویشن از یو مسٹ نو ہاؤ ٹو ڈرا دا گراف Although I will teach you derivation with the help of the picture that is inside your book, but right now I will tell you that how, what are the steps that you will follow to draw the graph on your paper. The first step is that you will draw a horizontal line like this. The horizontal line that you will draw will be showing the time axis and the time measured or the unit of measurement for this axis will be the uh, system international unit that is second. The next step is that you have to draw the speed axis that is in this particular direction perpendicular to your previous time axis. Now I have drawn this vertical axis. You can also um, say this uh, speed axis or velocity axis as the body which for which we are deriving this equation of motion we consider that the body is moving in a straight line if the body is moving in a straight line then dear students you can use the word speed and velocity interchangeably it means if it doesn't matter either you say it as speed axis or a velocity axis both means the same the next step is on this speed axis at any point other than the origin somewhere over here you have to mark a point a as you can see now i have marked the point a so you have to do it on your paper as well the next step is you have to mark another point b in this region and that point b should be higher than the point a So I am going to mark the point B which, is, which should be higher than the point A. Now you can see that I have drawn the point B. The next step is we have to join point A and B with the help of scale. Now AB is the required graph but we have to do some further steps at this point let me make one thing clear what is the point a a is the point at which our observation started and this is the point where the body was moving with initial velocity vi so it means that a o distance is equal to vi VI means any general value like it can be 5 meter per second, 10 meter per second, 2000 meter per second, whatsoever was the velocity that with, with the help of which the body was moving. Uh, now let's come to the point B. Point B shows the point after some time t and at this point the velocity has increased from VI and now it has become VF. So uh, the next step is we have to join point B with that time axis. How I will do this? I will draw a straight line and that will be dotted and I will join it to the time axis. Now when I join point B with the time axis, I have the graph has come to this point now this total length BD is equal to VF now I have written those at side O is equal to VI and BD is equal to VF why I am making these things clear to you because these will be used later in the derivation 
and now uh, the next step that we will do is we have to share this whole diagram O A B D with the help of pencil. You have to done the uh, do the shading with the light hand. Uh, and should not be that much dark that it overcomes the actual diagram. Okay. Uh, see, but I have shaded uh, this diagram O A B D, and I have done a very light hand shading. Do not do it dark. I repeat my instructions, but if you will uh, do this shading dark, that that will create a very bad impact, and that will be very difficult for you to understand it later. Now, yeah, this till this point, everything is clear. One thing was left. That is, what is this OD? This OD is the time that is taken by the body to change its velocity from VI to VF. Uh, as this is a general equation, so I cannot say that what is the value of time that either 5 second, 10 second, 20 seconds, whatsoever. Instead of making it a specific with any number, I will say that from with the for the body to increase its velocity from VI to VF, it will take any time T. So now I have marked this side OD as T as well. Uh, till this point, hopefully you have understood all the parameters because if you want to practice this derivation very well, you have to understand each and every step and make it clear in your mind if you have any problem on any of the steps up till now you can ask your question in the query session the next step is i'm going to draw a horizontal line from a on this line bd as you can see from the diagram this ac has changed the O A B D diagram into a somewhat familiar two geometrical shapes. One is the triangle A B C and the other one is the rectangle O A C D. Now uh, in this particular graph let us discuss what is this length from C to B. Now, as I told you earlier, that B shows velocity is Vf and A point shows the velocity is Vi. As O, A and C, D are the parallel side of the rectangle, so C, D will also be equal to Vi. And the whole length B, D equals Vf. This whole length from B to D is equal to v f now as you can see that this whole b d is sum of b c and c d now what will be b c b c will be b d minus c d i will keep this on this side and i will take c d to the other side so the equation will become b d minus c d see this is a basic mathematical step so what is the value of BD? It is VF. What is the value of CD? This is VI. So what will this well, this expression become? So you can see that uh, this length BC will be VF minus VI. Now BC is equal to VF minus VI. As in our previous lecture, we have discussed the first equation of motion. It was said that First equation of motion is so if we apply the first equation of motion instead of this Vf minus Vi I can also write that Bc equals At so we are going to use either this expression or this one for as per our convenience now if you look at this diagram one last thing is left there what is this value AC I have told you what is OA it is vi what is od it is t what is this c to d as this is a parallel and equal side to oa so this is also vi what is from b to d this side is vf 
Now, what is the value of AC? This one the side is left only. So, if you look at this rectangle, AC is parallel to OD. So, if OD is T, so AC will also be equal to T. So, the last thing that was left in the diagram, that is, AC is equal to T. Now, we have covered all the sides which we will be using in the formulas which are upcoming. So, if still you have any query, you can ask your teacher. Let me repeat, OA is VI. CD is also VI, OD is T, AC is also T, and this side BC is equal to VF minus VI. Now, uh, hopefully you can draw this graph on your own, and the all the parameters of this diagram are familiar to you. The one more thing that is A, B, C is a triangle. This is the base of the triangle and C, B is the height of the triangle. O, A, C, D is a rectangle and this is the length and width of the rectangle that you have to use in the derivation steps. Now we will shift to slide for derivation. This is now the time for the derivation. As you can see from the diagram, there is a rectangle OACD. Area of the rectangle OACD by definition is length into width. In this particular diagram, the length is OA and width is OD. LU of OA as I told you earlier is VI and value of OD is T. Next I have the final form of the area of rectangle. Now again as from the diagram base is equal to VF minus VI. So, from first equation of motion, if you rearrange it, you get Vf minus Vi is equal to AT. So, BC can also be written as AT. Now, area of the triangle ABC is 1 by 2 AC into BC. As AC is the base of the triangle and BC is the height of the triangle. Now put the values of AC that is equal to OD that is T and BC is equal to AT. Now multiply and get the simplified answer. So the area of triangle is 1 by 2 AT square. So finally the total area under the graph will be the sum of area of rectangle OACD and area of triangle ABC. The total distance covered by the body is now S is equal to VIT plus half AT square. This is the final result which is also known as the second equation of motion. Now this is time for a diary. You have to practice the derivation at least three times if you want to get it very well. Also practice the graph side by side. Assalamu alaikum.